Hi everyone, this is Dr. Harpreet. I am ENT specialist at Paripal Hospital Dwarka. Today I will be speaking to you about a very common yet a very annoying problem of allergic rhinitis. As we all know that we in Delhi are experiencing increase in the level of pollution year after year and therefore the number of patients which are coming to our outpatient departments are also increasing and they are presenting with symptoms like recurrent upper respiratory tract infections and allergic rhinitis. These patients with allergic rhinitis present to us with complaints of recurrent bouts of sneezing, running nose, itching in the eyes, watering from the eyes, irritation in throat, whenever there is a change of season or whenever they are exposed to certain allergens like dust or pollen. In children with chronic nasal allergies leads on to nasal obstruction and these children will present to us with symptoms of mouth breathing, snoring and even difficulty in sleeping at night. Therefore, it is very important that we evaluate such children for the presence of what we call as an adenoids at the back of the nose because a large adenoids along with the nasal allergy can cause the above mentioned symptoms. Here, I would also like to mention that we need to do a comprehensive hearing test for these children because these children with nasal allergies and adenoids can have fluid behind their eardrum which can lead on to hearing loss and which if undetected can lead on to delayed development of speech and poor performance in school. In adults who have chronic nasal allergies, we may develop what is called as chronic rhinosinusitis. These people present to us with symptoms of nasal obstruction, post nasal discharge and uh, sometimes even complete loss of sense or smell. A few percentage of these patients who have chronic rhinosinusitis will have presence of fungal infection in their sinuses and these have to be detected by getting an imaging done in form of plain CT scans of the paranasal sinuses. A plain CT scan would be able to detect a presence of fungal mass inside the sinuses and comprehensive removal of these uh, fungal infections by means of endoscopic sinus surgery would be the complete treatment for such patients. Here I would like to mention that although the treatment of allergic rhinitis is identification and elimination of the allergen causing the symptoms and prolonged medical therapy but in some patients like for example children with large adenoids or patients with chronic rhinosinusitis with fungal infection will benefit from surgical intervention. We here in Manipal Hospital Dwarka have state of the art equipments which enable us to perform these surgeries on young patients with large adenoids as a daycare procedures. These patients who have chronic rhinosinusitis with or without fungal infection can now hope for better treatment outcomes because of now availability of powered instruments, endoscopes and state of the art cameras and high definition cameras. Therefore, I would just like to conclude by saying that early diagnosis, treatment is the key to preventing complications. Thank you.